Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. Today's bedtime story is from this collection, Munch More. A Robert Munch collection. And the story I'm going to read today is Ribbon Rescue by Robert Munch and illustrated by Eugenie Fernandez. And this story was copyright in 1999, Ribbon Rescue. As soon as her grandmother finished making the ribbon dress, Jillian put it on and ran out into the front yard. A man came running down the road. He was dressed in fancy clothes and he was yelling, I'm late, I'm lost. I'm late, I'm lost. I'm going to miss my own wedding. Wait, said Jillian, let me fix your shoes. She tore two ribbons off her dress, laced the man's shoes with them and tied them into big bows. Thanks, the man said. I may be late, but I'll look fine. Well, said Jillian, why don't you just take my brother Lewis's skateboard? He has grown up and doesn't use it anymore. Just keep your eye on the church steeple and you'll get there. Thank you, said the man. I'll bring it back as soon as the wedding is over. Then, a lady in a fancy white dress came running by. She was yelling, I'm late, I'm lost. I'm late, I'm lost. I'm going to miss my own wedding. Well, said Jillian, at least I can fix your hair. Jillian reached up and tore eight ribbons off her dress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the lady bent down and Jillian fixed her hair into four enormous ponytails. And now, said Jillian, take my mother's bicycle. She has grown up and doesn't use it very much. Just keep heading for the church steeple and you'll be there in no time. Oh, thank you, said the lady. I might be late, but at least I will look okay. She gave Jillian a hug and rode away on the bicycle. Oh boy. Then, a family came running down the road yelling, We're late, we're lost, we're late, we're lost. We're going to miss the wedding. We haven't, had, we haven't even had time to wrap the present. Well, said Jillian, I can wrap your present. And she wrapped the present with five ribbons from her dress. The family said, Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We may be late, but we will have a lovely present. And now, said Jillian, take Lindsay's wagon and Haley's scooter. They are sort of grown up and don't use them very much. Just keep heading for the church steeple and you will not get lost. They all give Jillian a hug and raced off. Then a man came down the road yelling, I'm late, I'm lost, I'm late, I'm lost. I'm going to miss the wedding. Suddenly he stopped and said, Oh no, it's lost. What's lost, said Jillian. The ring, the wedding ring, said the man. I've lost the ring. I'll help you find it, said Jillian. She crawled around and got quite dirty. But after a while, she found the ring in a mud puddle. Look, said Jillian, you might lose it again. Let me help you. She tied the ring to the man's finger with a ribbon. And now, said Jillian, take Jeremy's skates. 
He has grown up and doesn't use them very much. Just keep heading for the church steeple. Thank you, said the man. I may be late, but at least I have the ring. Then Jillian's mother came, running out of the house, yelling, Jillian, we're late for a wedding, and you're a mess. What will your grandmother say? She grabbed Jillian's hand, and they ran down the road. But when they got to the church, the man at the door said to Jillian, What a mess. You can't come in here dressed like that. But... But, said her mother, that's okay, said Jillian. I will sit on the stairs and wait for you. Then the bride and groom walked around the side of the church and saw Jillian sitting on the stairs. Oh, said the groom, don't my shoes look great? Oh, said the bride, isn't my hair wonderful? Yes, said Jillian, your shoes are great and your hair is wonderful and I hope you have a wonderful wedding. Aren't you coming in, said the groom? No, said Jillian, I tore off all my ribbons to fix hair, laces, shoes, wrap a present and tie a ring. Now my dress is a mess and I can't come in. Hmm, said the groom, I think we need a flower girl. Hmm, said the bride, yes, we definitely need a flower girl. So they picked a bunch of wildflowers from the grass and Jillian walked into the church in front of everybody else. And even though her dress was all dirty and full of holes, everyone said she was the prettiest kid there. Okay, and that's the end of that story. There's just a little bit of a kind of a history about why, what this story is about. In 1993, this is Robert Munch now, I was in Montreal making a video. A boy and a girl came very early to be in the audience and they were standing in the middle of this huge TV studio looking lost. I decided to tell them stories. We went off into a corner and I spent half an hour making up new stories. One of them was about a ribbon dress that the little girl was wearing. I had never seen a ribbon dress before. The next day I decided that the ribbon story was too good to forget and I wrote it down, but I did not even remember the girl's name. The people at the TV studio said that maybe she's from the Mohawk Reserve at uh, Kanawaki, across the river from Montreal. I found Jillian, and I also found out there were lots of ribbon dresses in Kanawaki. To dress up really fancy, Mohawk girls wear ribbon dresses and Mohawk boys wear ribbon shirts. Years later, when I thought the story might become a book, I went to Kanawaki and I visited Jillian and her family. I took lots of pictures, which Eugenie Fernandez used to help her illustrate the book. After Ribbon Rescue was published in 1999, I did a storytelling at Jillian's school. Lots of girls wore their ribbon dresses. In 2004, the whole story came out in a local Mohawk edition. In it, Jillian is called Tia Hathe, which is her real Mohawk name. Hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.